Okay, so we have a little bit different of a video today. I'm inside the Palm Grove Social, which is a gallery slash this slash that slash this slash that, like everything in LA is. And camera's gonna shake. All right. Uh, so I'm inside the Steve Keen art exhibit, which if you've seen my other videos, you know what that's all about. You can Google who Steve Keen is or look at the links in the description. And I own some of these paintings, and some of these paintings are owned by Dan Ephraim, who made the Steve Keen book. Uh, I wish I owned that Radio City Big Star. That's definitely Dan's. And you have television Marky Moon, Johnny Cash is mine. It's not like you, you guys recognize from my other videos in my bedroom. All the pavements are mine. Um, the Galaxy 500 you might recognize from my kitchen. And then over here is a giant, giant mural from the 90s that I'm told the person who owns this mural never has any room to display it in LA. There's these little um, signs here talking about whose stuff this is. So this is Adam Lassus, who I do not know, I haven't met, but I discovered this morning actually produced uh, Juliana Hatfield's Hey Babe. So it's ironic that I did not know him. This mural is, is just huge. It says it's from June 9th, 1994. And you can see in perspective to the chandelier how enormous it is. I believe it's about Washington, D.C. There's one, two George Washingtons I see in the Capitol. And it's noted by my stuff, Second Avenue, at estate sales. I think that's what it means. Steve is outside waiting for an Uber. And if he's still out there when I'm done, I'll ask him if he remembers what it means. But being that it's from 1994, I doubt he does. And this is more stuff from both mine and Dan's collections. It's a Bob Dylan, Beatles, The Arcade Fire, The Fall, which you guys I'm sure recognize from my living room. That's the one that hangs over my Kitchen sink, nice John Cale there I'd never seen before. There's another big star. See, Dan has all the big stars, and I wish I did. But I have all the pavements, all the pavements. Except there's actually one pavement here of like a Range Life EP that I'd never seen before. Um, which is great. It's funny, that Radiohead and that Meat Puppets, there's kind of no room on my walls for. So I haven't even seen them much until just now. <laughs> uh, and this one, uh, I don't know who owns it, I'm assuming Dan, this was Al Wazir Chicken. I wish I owned this because I've ordered from Al Wazir Chicken a billion times. Uh, it would be so great if I had like local LA places. As some of you may remember, I have that Times Square one from when I had an office in Times Square and it hung on the walls of my office in Times Square. Now if I come into here to room number three, well, let's see whose stuff this was. Libby May. And these are more New York, similar to my Times Square. Uh, there's an Apples in Stereo. I don't know what tape machine is. It's in Naples, still life. Radio City Music Hall. The All Star Cafe, which for those of you who don't know, was there was this fad in the 80s and 90s of celebrity owned cafes, and that was the sports one. It was like three or four famous baseball players, similar to Planet Hollywood, how that was owned by like Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger and people like that. There's a Manhattan Sunset. Oh, I didn't even notice this. Oh my God. So this is the entrance to Brownies, uh, which was a nightclub, I believe on second. I spent 
a lot of time at Brownies. I knew one of the bartenders, she also worked at Mercury Lounge, and she walked me and Aaron and Liz into like any show we wanted for free because we tipped a lot. Uh, I don't know what these are, but they're great. Oh, I think they're described here. Oh, they asked Steve if, if he would paint a portrait of her dog Harriet, and here are four portraits of her dog Harriet. Wow. So in here last night, uh, Steve was painting, and I, I got a bunch of stills. I got a little video of it last night, but it's all in 360, so I can't put it on here. And here's how he does it. He takes a photograph, which some of you may recognize, like how I have my pavement photographs laid out next to the art that he has. So there's the reference, and then he'll paint multiples like that. Now these are not the regular squares. I think each one of these pieces is one piece uh, because he didn't cut it. And they're more or less West Coast or California themed. Uh, Golden Gate Recreation Area, the Los Angeles Dodgers, Yellowstone, and this one's um, San Francisco, Sandy Koufax, and Don Drysdale, that's um, Los Angeles Dodgers kind of thing, I think. Way out west. Wow. I know that there's a lot of emotion in this video, and if you look in the links after you watch this, I'll link to the 360 so you can pay more careful attention to each piece if you'd like to. I'm just trying to give a good overview of the show while it's here and while I have access to it. And I think one problem that they had was they didn't want to get paint in the gallery and there really wasn't a good spot for him to paint, so they had to put this tarp down. And you notice there's no paint at the edge, so it was very meticulous about keeping it clean in here, because these are all studios they use uh, to film casting reels. So here are all the presidents going up to 2006, and then Barack Obama after that. I don't remember what year um, Barack Obama was elected. And these are really something. If you consider how many he had to do, each one was a different photograph, and then maybe there's a sign explaining how the person who owns these collected the set. I don't know. That would be an interesting story. Some LA nightlife. I'm sorry for the bad lighting here. It's from 2002. Here's Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, 1969, and it was painted in 1996. It says, courtesy of Eric Allen from the Apples in Stereo. There's a, a Carnegie Hall. Chrysanthemums, one of the family, school friends, the Clintons, John Lennon. I can't read that one. Shakespeare, I believe. 
more Washington themed stuff. There's the Range Life EP from 2002. These are all New York City themed, courtesy of Sonia Colorat. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Look at this Ground Zero from 2001. And another Twin Towers from 2001. And I'm sure all of these are in the book as well. What year is this Ukraine one from? I can't tell. We saw Beck at the Knitting Factory, 1994. So the themes sort of over and over again are album covers, New York City, cities, let's say, and um, presidents, or Washington theme kind of stuff. So if you're in LA and you'd like to see it in person, it's gonna be on till August 12th, 2022. If you're not in LA, this is what it looked like. And again, in the links, I'll have uh, my 360 video. So if you have a headset or something, you can get more of a sense of what it was like to be here. But that is today's vlog, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.